Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I want to give you a brief overview of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY annual percentage yield for September 2023. Now, high yield APY isn't the only reason to select a savings account. For me personally, there has to be other features I like about the account itself and things within a financial institution or bank. Just multiple reasons why I would choose an account, not just because of a high APY, but that's usually a good place to start to kind of narrow down some things, do some more research and figure out which account you want to move your money to or open up a new account with or anything like that so yeah in this video i'm going to give you the apys a calculation of how much that would be on a certain amount of money and also some background on the financial institution itself because a lot of these financial institutions in this video right here aren't as well known as some others so there may be some you've never heard of before and there's a couple ties here this list is very long because there is one major tie at the five percent apy mark that just seems like it goes on and on there's multiple companies that have that five percent APY and the APYs for savings accounts have definitely been on the upward trend right here for the past year or so with the federal funds rate increasing the APYs at banks have been increasing as well there are some shakeups on this list from the last time I did this video because there is an account that was number six on that previous ranking video I did that is now at number one so yeah there's been some increases for sure and I have a bonus number one as well in the video so if you like videos on banking with savings accounts checking accounts CD accounts you know promos sign up bonuses and things like that definitely Definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I do several videos about bank accounts, whether it be, you know, information deep dive into them with research you know videos that really get into the details of the accounts or kind of overviews and ranking videos just various kind of videos i do on bank accounts definitely subscribe to the channel if you like that and if you like this video make sure you hit the like button for sure and also on this channel i do videos on investing stocks and etfs as well so definitely a lot of great free content but yeah that's it with the intro before we get to the ranking though i want to go over some of the things that all of these accounts have in common and some of the things that they have to have as a requirement to be on my list right here. And now the first requirement, which is the most important to me, is that the account has to be FDIC insured. And FDIC stands for Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which is an independent U.S. government agency that protects monetary deposit accounts. And so what that is basically is that the money you have in these banks and these financial institutions are protected up to a certain amount. Usually it's 250000 However, some financial institutions protect more than that, like a million or two million. And so what they do is they spread your cash deposits into different banks. And that's how they get more than that $250,000 protection for you up to a million, two million sometimes. And there's some accounts in this list that have that. And I'll go over those when we get to those certain accounts right there. And so the next requirement is that none of these accounts have a monthly maintenance fee. So there's no $4.95, $5, $3, or anything attached to these accounts where you have to pay a certain amount or basically have it take from your balance to have an account with these financial institutions and with these banks. No monthly maintenance fees. And then next up, the APY, the annual percentage yield, is variable and subject to change because these are accounts are not fixed yields. If you want to fix APY, then it will be better to do a certificate of deposit. And I have videos on those kind of accounts and everything, and I do those monthly as well. But for these accounts, right, these savings accounts, the APY is variable, which means it is subject to change. It's not fixed. And typically right now, the trajectory that these savings accounts are on is that it's been raising every month or every two months. These accounts have been raising their APY and their interest rates. So the APY that you see right here on this video today is what it would be like as of now. Some of these may have already raised their rate by the time this video uploads, because I've had that happen before like the next day and one of these accounts raised their APY and I have to kind of sometimes I'll put it in the comments hey so-and-so raised their APY to this so they would be numbered this on the list now but so these APYs are variable so it's not really like you're locking in this APY you'll get whatever APY the account is at so right now for instance if you open an account with one of these that has a 4% APY well your money will be making that 4% APY that annual percentage yield and the interest rate is usually a little bit lower than like 3.9 or something like that so for example if the account raises the APY next month next week tomorrow or anything like that you'll be obtaining that new APY for the money in your account. However, on the other spectrum is that if they lower the APY, then you'll be getting that lower APY on your money in the account. And so that is just what I wanted to let you know. The APY is variable and subject to change. However, the trajectory has been on is that either these accounts have been staying the same high APY for these high yield savings accounts, or they've been increasing the APY. And so the next requirement is that for these accounts, there are no monthly minimum balance required to avoid fees because you do have accounts out there that have a certain minimum, like you have to have at least $100 or $1,000 
dollars in the account at all times or else you will get that monthly maintenance fee or some kind of fee attached to your account with these accounts right here there is no monthly minimum balance required to avoid fees and next up this isn't necessarily a requirement but this is something i wanted to notate for these accounts is that some of these do have an initial deposit required to start these accounts it is really is a tie to that no monthly minimum balance because for these accounts they're saying that there's an initial deposit required for some of these accounts and some of them don't have one at all some of them like a hundred dollars a thousand dollars and when we get to those specific accounts i'll let you know what that initial deposit requirement is right there just want to notate that because not all of these have a just no you know initial deposit requirement there are some that do have an initial deposit requirement all right now without further ado let's jump into the top 10 savings accounts for september 2023 ranked by apy Starting with number 10 on the list is the Wealthfront Cash Account at 4.80% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account and the interest accrues daily, compounds monthly, and is credited monthly. For an example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 4.80% with the interest compounding monthly, after one month that $10,000 would be right around $10,000. $39.08. Wealthfront is an automated investment service firm that was founded in 2008. In February 2019, Wealthfront introduced a cash account, which is technically neither a savings or checking account, but has attributes of both and leans more towards being a savings account hybrid. Wealthfront is able to offer up to $5 million in FDIC insurance because it deposits its clients' cash account funds in a network of partner banks, including Citibank, HSBC, Green Dot, and several others. Wealthfront headquarters is in Palo Alto, California. And at number nine on the list is the BMO Alto online savings at 4.85% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. For an example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 4.85% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month that $10,000 would be around $10,039.66. And BMO Alto is the online only banking option launched in April 2023 that's a part of the BMO Financial Group. BMO Alto offers a savings account and CD accounts. Bank of Montreal, commonly known as BMO, owns BMO Harris Bank through the holding company BMO Financial Corporation. In the United States, it does business as BMO Financial Group. BMO main formal headquarters is in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And at number eight, we have this massive tie right here. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Several accounts with 5% APY. So let's start it off here with Bread Financial with their high yield savings at 5% APY. There's a $100 minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So for most of these accounts at number eight, that is the same, the interest compounds daily and is credited monthly. So I'll give you an example that'll cover pretty much all of these accounts and there's one that kind of sticks out. So I'll tell you about the calculation for that one separately. If you had $10,000 in an account at 5% APY with the interest compounding daily, after a month that $10,000 would be around $10,040.75. Bread Financial is a financial service company offering simple personalized payment, lending, and saving solutions. Bread Financials was formerly known as Alliance Data, which was formed by a combination of JCPenney's credit card processing unit and the Limited's credit card bank business. Alliance Data changed its name to Bread Financial Holdings in March 2022. Bread Savings is a product of the Community Capital Bank and was founded in 1996 with a headquarters in Columbus, Ohio. And also tied at number eight is the Laurel Road High Yield Savings at 5% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So the same calculation applies to it. Laurel Road is a digital banking platform and brand of KeyBank that provides banking and lending solutions, including student loan refinancing, savings accounts, mortgages, personal loans, credit cards, and more. Laurel Road also has a focus on healthcare professionals and was founded in 2013 and became a part of KeyBank in 2019. KeyBank headquarters is in Cleveland, Ohio. Also tied at number eight is the First Foundation Bank online savings at 5% APY. There's a minimum $1,000 initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. And First Foundation Bank was founded in 2007. It was originally started to serve the clients of First Foundation Wealth Advisory Business. First Foundation provides banking, financial planning, investment management, trust services, estate and legacy planning. Their headquarters is in Irvine, California. Also tied at number eight is the Basque Bank Interest Savings Account at 5% APY. There is no minimum initial deposit required to open this account. However, you must fund the account within 15 days of opening. If not, Basque Bank might close your account. 
and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly on this account. So the same calculation applies to it as I stated at the beginning of the tie of number eight. Basque Bank is an online bank that offers one savings account that earns interest and another that earns American Airlines miles. Basque Bank is a division of Texas Capital Bank, which was founded in 1998 and their headquarters is in Dallas, Texas. Also tied at number eight is the My Banking Direct High Yield Savings at 5% APY. There is a $500 minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is calculated on a simple interest basis and credited monthly. So this is the one at number eight where the interest is calculated differently. All of the other accounts tied at number eight has the interest compounded daily and credited monthly. However, this account, the interest is calculated on a simple interest basis. So with the simple interest, the interest is calculated on the principal, which is the original amount in the account. However, with compound interest, the interest is calculated on the principal amount and the accumulated interest of previous periods. So interest that is calculated on a simple interest basis on an account like this, you will have less interest because you don't have that interest compounding on top of previous interest, basically. So there will be a slight difference on how much you would earn with this account versus the other accounts. And of course, the more amount of money you have in the account, the more noticeable it is. If you don't have a lot of money in the account, it won't be as noticeable, but the more money you have will make it more noticeable. And my banking direct is a service of Flagstar Bank, New York Community Bank Corp Incorporated is the parent company of Flagstar Bank, which is one of the largest regional banks in the country. The company is headquartered in Hicksville, New York, with regional headquarters in Troy, Michigan. New York Community Bank Corp was founded in 1859 as the Queens County Savings Bank. It was the first savings bank chartered by the state of New York in the New York City borough of Queens. My Banking Direct offers checking, savings, and CD accounts. And at number seven, we have the Salem 5 E1 savings account at 5.01% APY. There's a minimum $10 initial deposit required to open this account. And Salem reserves the right to transfer balances over a million dollars to a statement savings account, which currently earns an APY of 0.01%. So that's just something I noticed in the fine print of this account. If you have an account that's under a million dollars, you have this E1 savings account that has 5.01%. However, if you have a balance that goes over a million dollars, then they may transfer that amount to a different account, which earns a way lesser APY. 0.01% versus 5.01% is a massive difference. So that would be a massive difference in interest that is accumulated for sure so they have the right to transfer balances over a million dollars to that account so it's just something to notate right there and on this account the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly now for an example if you had ten thousand dollars in this account earning 5.01 percent apy with the interest compounding monthly after one month that ten thousand dollars would be around ten thousand forty dollars and seventy five cents so you see right there kind of like a difference in how interest is compounded depending on the APY and how much it'll give you basically. So, so there's a slight difference between that APY 5.01% and 5%. However, the way it's compounding, gives you that same amount right there. Salem 5 is a traditional American mutual savings bank founded in 1855. The bank provides financial services including private banking, checking, deposit, and savings accounts. In addition, Salem 5 Bank also offers mortgages, insurance, and commercial lending such as aviation and construction loans. And at number six, we have the TAP Bank High Yield Savings at 5.02% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. For an example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.02% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month that $10,000 should be at $10,041. Tap Bank was founded in 1998 with the goal to offer banking services that focused on the trucking industry as a banking service located inside of truck stops. It still handles the specific banking needs of truck drivers and fleet operators, but the bank's products have also expanded to serve individual consumers. Tap stands for Transportation Alliance Bank and they're headquartered in Ogden, Utah. And at number five, we have a tie. First up here, we have CIT Bank with their Platinum Savings Account at 5.05% APY. There's a $100 minimum initial deposit required to open this account. And for this account, you only get that 5.05% APY on balances of $5,000 and more. So if your balance is underneath $5,000 in this account, then the APY will be 0.25%. So that is a major difference right there. However, CIT Bank also has another savings account. So if you really want to bank with CIT Bank, but you had a balance under $5,000 and you still wanted a high APY, then the CIT Bank Savings Connect account would be better because it has an APY of 4.65%. It also has a minimum $100 initial 
deposit requirement as well. However, if your balance is underneath $5,000, then you'll get a higher APY with this account. And on the flip side of that, if you had a balance of $5,000 or more, then that would be better to have your money in this platinum savings account at 5.05% APY. So that's why I included that one on this list, because if it was the other, the 4.65%, then it would not have made the list. So platinum savings account with at least $5,000 in it will give you 5.05%. It makes the list tied at number five. And for this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So for example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.05% APY with the interest compounding daily, after a month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.17. CIT was founded in 1908 in St. Louis, Missouri. CIT stands for Commercial Investment Trust. After various ventures of acquisitions being sold and bankruptcy, CIT was acquired by First Citizens Bank Shares in January 2022. CIT provides financing, cash management, treasury management, small business administration loans, mortgage loans, leasing, and advisory services. CIT headquarters is in New York, New York. Also tied at number five is the Redneck Bank Mega Money Market Account at 5.05% APY. There's a minimum $500 initial deposit required to open this account, and at 5.05% APY is on balances up to $100,000. Amounts over $100,000 earn 0.50% APY. So just something to keep in mind that I noticed right there in the fine print. For example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.05% APY with the interest compounding monthly, after one month, that $10,000 would be at $10,041.08. So you see a slight difference there with the interest compounding daily compared to it compounding monthly. With the previous account that had the same APY compounding daily, you would get $10,041.17. With this one compounding monthly, you get $10,041.08. So a slight difference, not a huge difference, but on $10,000, that's what it would be. The more amount of money, more difference it would be, but still not that much until you start getting into you know, large amounts of money. Redneck Bank is the internet banking division of All American Bank, which was established in Mustang, Oklahoma in 1969 as the first Mustang State Bank. Now headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Redneck Bank offers a checking account and a money market savings account. And at number four, we have the Primus Personal Savings Account at 5.07% APY. There is a $1 minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly. So in my previous video, Primus did not make the list because they had an issue going on where they were not letting customers open new accounts. So there was a whole situation going on within their company of fraud for like 10 years, basically, that they recently discovered in the second quarter of 2023. They didn't let customers open new accounts, they said because the customer service wasn't there for them and things. So they, they had shut down banks, laid off some people, and now currently, Primus is allowing new customers to sign up for their account, but they're limiting that to 1,000 customers per month. So they, once they hit that cap right there of 1,000 customers, they don't allow any new customers to open an account within that month. So now at the beginning of September, they are allowing new customers, hasn't hit that cap yet of 1,000 new customers. So, but I don't know when that's cap, you know, I don't know when that's going to get hit. Maybe by the time you see this video, it may, may have hit that. You may have to wait the next month if you want to, just so something to keep in mind. And I'm going to make a short video on this soon, just to let people know what's going on with Promise, because I did a long longer in-depth detailed video about this personal savings account that's you know really interested for people who want to know more about it and gave a lot of information and it was going fine for a while and then that whole issue happened or, and then people weren't able to open up new accounts you know I got a couple messages about it so something to keep in mind right there so they're back on the list because they are back in business so to speak with letting customers open up new accounts just at that limit though so I'm not going to go too far off tangent I want to get back to the main purpose of this video so if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.07% APY with the interest compounding month after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.33. Primus Financial is the holding company for Primus Bank, which is a state chartered bank headquartered in Glen Allen, Virginia. Primus offers checking and savings accounts, loans, a credit card, and more. The company was formerly known as Southern National Bank Corp of Virginia and changed its name to Primus Financial Corp. Primus Financial Corp was founded in 2004 and is based in McLean, Virginia. And at number three, we have the FNBO Direct High Yield Savings Account at 5.15% APY. There's a $1 minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly. So for an example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.15% APY with the interest compounding monthly, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.92.
FNBO stands for First National Bank of Omaha and was originally founded in 1857 as Cuncy's Brothers Bank. In 1863, they also began doing business as First National Bank of Omaha. The subsidiary is First National Bank of Nebraska, which is privately owned. FNBO Direct is a division of FNBO, which started in 2006, and they offer a savings and checking account. FNBO headquarters is in Omaha, Nebraska. And at number two is the popular direct online savings account at 5.20% APY. There is a minimum of $100 initial deposit required to open this account. And the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. For example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.20% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month that $10,000 would be $10,042.34. Popular Direct was launched in 2016 as an online-only bank that's a subsidiary of Popular Bank. Popular Incorporated was founded in 1893 and does business as Banco Popular in Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands and Popular Bank in the United States. Popular Direct offers an online savings account and various term CDs. Popular Headquarters is in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And at number one, we have a tie. First here, we have Evergreen Bank Group with their high yield savings account at 5.25% APY. There's a minimum of $100 initial deposit required to open this account. And for that 5.25% APY, that is for balances up to $1 million. The APY is 0.0% if over that $1 million. And the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So something I just noticed on the fine print with the APY, balance up to $1 million, get the 5.25% APY, and then 0.0%, so basically 0% APY, if the balance is over that million dollars. So for a calculation example with this account, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.25% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,042.75. After 12 years with a publicly traded bank, Darren Campbell resigned from his executive bank position to start Evergreen Bank Group. He recruited a group of investors and in early 2007, reorganized and recapitalized a small but well-known community bank in Evergreen Park, Illinois. Evergreen Bank offers various personal and business accounts and loans. Their headquarters is in Oak Brook, Illinois. Also tied at number one is the VO Bank Cornerstone Money Market Savings Account at 5.25% APY. There's a minimum $100 initial deposit required to open this account. And there's a $5 monthly fee if you receive paper statements. So just something I noted here just for people that like to have those paper statements. If you want that, there is going to be a monthly fee with this account. If you don't want paper statements, then there won't be a $5 monthly fee. And with this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So to give you that same calculation after a month of interest in this account at 5.25% APY with the interest compounding daily, $10,000 would be $10,042.75. VO Bank is an online bank division of Mid First Bank, which is one of the largest privately held banks in the United States. Mid First Bank was established in 1911 and is headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. VO Bank offers money market savings and CD accounts. And also tied at number one is the Valley Direct High Yield Savings at 5.25% APY. And there's a minimum $1 initial deposit required to open this account. And the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So this is the account that was at number six on my ranking video back in July of 2023. And now we're in September. And this account is now tied at number one with that 5.25% APY. So there's been a definite increase in the APY with Valley Direct High Yield Savings for sure. And the calculation for this one would be the same as the previous. $10,000 at 5.25% APY with the interest compounding daily after one month would be $10,042.75. Valley National Bank Corp doing business as Valley Bank is a regional bank holding company headquartered in Wayne, New Jersey. Valley Bank was founded in 1927 as a Passaic Park Trust Company. The company has grown through numerous acquisitions in northern and central New Jersey and has become one of the largest commercial banks headquartered in New Jersey. Valley Direct offers a savings and CD accounts. And also tied at number one is the UFB Direct High Yield Savings Account at 5.25% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So the same calculation applies with this. If you had $10,000 with that 5.25% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,042.75. UFB Direct is a digital bank founded in 2000 that's a division of Axos Bank. 
USB Direct offers deposit accounts and mortgages. Axos Bank was previously known as Bank of Internet USA until it rebranded as Axos in 2018. Axos Bank headquarters is in San Diego, California. And that would be the end of the list. However, there is a promotion going on which boosts up an account to number one. So there is a bonus number one account right here. The Betterment Cash Reserve has an APY of 5.50% if you're a new customer. Yeah, so I did a shorts video on this not that long ago. However, when I did that shorts video, their regular APY was 4.50%. So the boost got you up to 5.25% APY. Currently, the Betterment Cash Reserve account has an APY of 4.75%. Now, if you're a new customer, you get the 0.75% APY boost, which would give you an APY of 5.50%, which makes it the highest on this list. Like I stated before, the APY is variable. So that 4.75% could change. Like it changed from my when I did my shorts video to now. It was 4.50% then, now it's 4.75%. So it's gone up. However, if you're a new customer that signed up at 4.50% with the 75% boost, you would still get that new APY, 4.75% and then that boost. So if the APY goes up while you have the boost, then your APY will still go up. That 0.75% boost will stay the same, but it will be added on to whatever the APY is at Betterment for the cash reserve account. And for this account, the interest accrues daily, compounds monthly, and is credited monthly. So for a calculation example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.50% APY with the interest compounding monthly, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,044.58. Betterment is an American financial advisory company which provides digital investment and cash management services. Betterment was founded in 2008 in New York City by John Stein, a Columbia Business School MBA graduate, and Eli Brover a lawyer out of NYU School of Law. Betterment headquarters is in New York City, New York. And that is it with my video on the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY for September 2023. I know there was way more than 10 accounts right there because of those ties and then the bonus, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. Take care.